Yeah, I think I just feel... Uh, I feel nothing so far. <laughs> Did I see Reggie's response to HBox? No. Isn't Reggie not Nintendo anymore? Yo. Yo, what's no, up? Reggie's not Nintendo. Did he respond to HBox? Is that a thing? Did. He was like glad they finally uh, did this. Uh, I'm sure the devs pushed for melee not to be included. Was his response? Oh, he said that. Yeah. Interesting. What's up? How you doing? Chilling, man. How are you? I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm kind of. <laughs> I'm kind of glad that I did not stream with you <laughs> for the initial reaction because I feel like I'm really bad at uh like surprise parties and shit. When someone throws one for me, oh. <laughs> I always just, <laughs> I just have a bad time of like yeah, expressing yeah. immediate enthusiasm and shit. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I, I'm pretty much on the same page with most people about being cautious. Um, yeah. I have worked with Panda before, yeah. but I do know that they're legit. Um. At the same time, I think they're just way too few details for me to make a clear, like, clear cut decision on it. And I also don't yeah. regret what I've said in the past. <laughs> I so, I, 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 don't think, I don't think you should. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I haven't been in Melee long enough to see it happen over and over again, but it just has, right? Sure, yeah. No, it definitely has. I will say that the reason I give this, like, more of a chance than other things is because there's been no... So, Japanese, like, corporate culture is very... It's very stuck in its roots. It doesn't change. Uh -huh. And so I kind of had a feeling that it would take someone with like actual qualifications and like corporate knowledge talking to them for them to give any type of leeway, which is why when David and Alan or something like that uh, is in discussions with people, I'm like, okay, like this might actually do something. Mm -hmm. And so for me, it's almost like a last chance where it's like, okay, like if this doesn't do it, literally nothing will. And then at that point I lose all hope and we're back to where we are. Right, and now it did say cash prizes, right? Yeah, that was... it, it explicitly said cash. Yeah. And uh, do you think that... I, I feel like there's no shot that UCF would be allowed, right? Uh, not in its current form. So the reason... Uh, so again, this is why like you kind of have to have an understanding of like Japanese like legislation. Japanese legislation doesn't like uh, code modifications to software. Hardware... Uh, which, uh, yes, we had shitty Dweens that were really bad, but I'm sure there are better ways to do it. Hardware, as far as I'm aware, is completely acceptable, and I don't have any, like, extra insider information, but I know this from precedent and from, like, doing my own research. Yeah. Hardware is fine. And so there are multiple ways to get around that. Also, with the way controllers are going, there's, like, a chance that controllers themselves could fix the problem for us. Wait, so you're telling me that someone rolls up with a box or a frame one? They're fine. <laughs> They're fine? They're fine. Yeah, they're fine. That's, that's crazier to me than UCF. Nintendo's never cared about hardware mods. They only care about... Well, no, it's, you have to understand it's like literally Japanese legislature. It strictly prohibits like any type of code injection or modifications to like software. Hmm. Hardware, it doesn't care about. Because hardware is external. They don't care about anything external. They only care about internal. You can't do anything internal. Would they even notice UCF though? No, but is it worth it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, not, if I, not if we get to fix another way. If the fix is done through a controller or through a hardware mod and it's just as good, uh, someone's saying paying three hundred dollars for my UCF controller. Panda controller specifically said it's retailing at less than a hundred. Less so, than a hundred? No. I mean, it would have to be. It would have to be perfect. I yeah. tr I trust Alan and David. Also, keep in mind, Alan and David won't release something if me and especially me because I'm like super fucking picky. Uh, will not like extensively playtest and make sure that it's not bad. Again, mm. this isn't to say that you should blindly accept it and be like, oh, yeah, I'm all on board. But it's also to say don't immediately discredit it either. Like, caution, op cautious, caution should definitely be exercised. Yeah, I think I just feel... I feel nothing so far. <laughs> yeah, that's no, completely fine. Yeah. I don't know. It, my first instinct wasn't excitement. It was more... I'm also worried about ramifications towards already existing stuff that we have worked for, you know? Like, uh, like what? Like, with Nintendo getting involved, does that put more of a focused lens on Slippy? And they'll be like, like, what the fuck is this doing here? Like, it, does that get taken down? Does that get challenged? And also, like, I feel like the World Tour kind of gets cucked because... I mean, I don't even know if that was, like, brought to their attention or anything. 
um in the process of this yeah i'm not sure either um but yeah i mean they worked for like to get sponsors and stuff and yeah it's been uh, we know the people behind the world tour and it's like Mm. grassroots and it's it's something that like i feel like is i had a lot of excitement for um but yeah i I don't know the ramifications for those like two things Mm mm-hmm so I can't speak on the world tour because I I don't have enough information to feel comfortable commenting yeah, on it yeah, yeah. at all. But I will say on the other front, like things we've already worked towards, I doubt again. Maybe I'm putting too much faith in them. I doubt David and Alan would like put us at risk of losing our ability to practice melee. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like uh, I, I don't think that that's something that they would do, especially because yeah. they have a vested interest in like me doing well, and that's my main mode of practice. The same with Right. I'm just saying it can. I, th- I think it, like it, like Big House tried to work with Nintendo, right? And I feel like they're pretty professional. I mean, it's it, different. It's a tournament stream, though. Like I, I think for like, so here's the thing. What what big thing do we would we use like absent COVID restrictions? Would we use for Slippy for anyways? I mean, wait, what are you talking about for like, like well, actual like public broadcasting? Tournament. Yeah, besides like just regular practice streams, which I doubt they really care about. Um, even Amsterdam does. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I, I guess it's not that much of a mainstay anymore. I still think it kind of sucks to still sacrifice that option, um, because I I, I, I feel like online agree. stuff is still like I I'm of the opinion that it like shouldn't really go anywhere. It's still great for like qualifier stuff, and um, I I don't mind having it as a tournament option for like not the biggest things, but like qualifiers. No, that's completely fair. I think that for me, I kind of, so here's what I went through like internally when I kind of thought about this. I weighed in my head those possibilities because obviously there are things online that are really good that might be gone, right? Let's say worst case scenario, they're gone. And so at that point I had to think, okay. And obviously anyone can feel free to think about how they think. They don't have to value things the same way I do. But Mm -hmm. I had to think, okay, so that's gone. Let's assume that's completely gone. Is the like gain to people like let's say someone like moki who's where i was a year ago where it's like financially it might be a struggle for him right again to people like that and kadoran worth me sacrificing that and the more i thought about it, the more i'm like yeah it is i looked at like how big nintendo is they're tweeting about us they're probably bringing a bunch of eyes onto it they're gonna run it on their channels and i thought about it and i was like okay you know what i think that long term the gain from that makes it so that people who are not top five because even like i'm pretty much unanimously considered top five at this point i think it's safe to say mm-hmm. but i still can't reliably make a living unless i stream like at least 200 hours a month yeah right i'm yeah a top 50 player like alone top 50 should be able to make like some kind of <laughs> some kind of, some kind of income right? yeah yeah yeah. But they can't it's they literally, literally zero can't. yeah and so for me it's like okay well will there be any kind of benefit brought to those people that would be ignored otherwise and to me the answer is like overwhelmingly yeah, right I, why I was like okay fuck it. i just think it can be a little unpredictable with nintendo like Sure, sure. Uh, like it, if it goes south, I feel like it really goes south. Of, would like, it go or would it be back to square one? I mean, I don't know. That's why I think the uncharted territory sure, is a little sure. scary. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I still, I'm still of the mind that it is a risk. <laughs> um, it's a huge no. It's a it's a massive risk. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. I'm just worried about what it unravels. I guess, but I will say if it. Uh, maybe I'm just being like a fucking pessimist and it goes super well. L- ideal world is that <laughs> Nintendo I, just dishes out money, yeah. tells Panda, hey, like, do whatever you want on the competitive side. <laughs> that's yeah. that's like the perfect idealistic. No, that is. Yeah. 100%. And you're, no, 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 you're not like, I don't think you're wrong for being pessimistic. I don't think you're wrong for being cautious either. Mm-hmm. I'm saying, I think though, the potential benefit so for me it's like let's say take worst case scenario i don't think worst case scenario is even super likely right i think that the realistic like worst case scenario is we go back to where we are Mm -hmm. and it's just back it's back to square one which i'm fine with right and i think that given that the potential benefits so far outweighs any like other extraneous risk we might incur that i'm just super down also i i see a bunch of people in zane chat i have a chat open i'm not a fucking apologist dude i'm only giving this a chance because it's because it's panda Literally, I'm only giving this a chance for the panda. If this was Nintendo by themselves, I literally wouldn't have said a single thing. I'd be like, okay, we'll see. Like, whatever. Have fun, bro. Mm. I trust Alan and David. And I trust them based on what they've told me. And I trust them because they are by far the most capable individuals in Smash to actually give some type of, like, proper assessment on this. 
More so than any of you. More so than me or Zane or Mango. More so than Blur or anyone else who has like some kind of standing in the community. I wonder, yeah, I wonder what the prize is going to be. <laughs> I do too. There's so little information. Yeah, that, 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 that's part of the scary part, right? We're making a decision based on a lack of, I feel a like, lot of information. I feel like initial announcements for stuff of this nature usually have, like, more... Like, I'm not wrong, right? Usually they're more... No, you're, you're, you're correct. You're correct. Yeah. I think that there's probably reasons. Again, I trust them. I know that they're, like, have a lot of background. So I trust that there's a reason why more stuff hasn't been released yet. And, again, I, like, if someone still says, like, fuck Nintendo, I, I understand. I'm not telling you not to say fuck Nintendo. Because, again... I'm in this because of Panda, not because of Nintendo. Is it going to be in touch with the community? It, they'd have to be as hands-off as possible. I. It seems like, from what I can gather, they're relegating most of like, the competitive side to Panda. <laughs> the, and again... They told me to ready my A game. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready. I feel like I'm... What a Hungrybox tweet? Today's the first day of a beautiful future. Oh, the liaison! Hungrybox. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for That's acknowledging competitive melee and for see i don't think he has to thank them for acknowledgement dude i don't either <laughs> but i'm sure it doesn't hurt it definitely doesn't hurt i'm sure it doesn't hurt that's the most um, that's the most networky tweet i've ever seen i yeah i'll 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 talk to you about some other stuff off stream it's not directly related to this but it's secondary info that is will probably help you understand why i have the stance i do it's mm. not directly about this though which is why i can't share it okay but there's definitely a, like other information it seems the overwhelming sentiment is uh cautious, cautious optimism yeah cautious optimism which yeah. i think is correct i think it's pretty i think cautious optimism is a pretty good way to go about it yep All right, let me call Cody. Blonde Zane, people don't want to see Blonde Zane, apparently. <laughs> and I don't blame them.